Hi, this is Jessica Slichter from Nuts and Bolts. And I wanted to look with you at one of my golden oldie pedals, the Cathedral Stereo Reverb from Electroharmonics. Now, this is a pretty simple pedal, but I really love it. Not in the least because it's really sturdy. Let's first look at the different parameters. You've got your mode, first of all, where you can choose different, well, modes. You've got your grail spring, aku spring, two types of spring reverb. You've got your hall and your room. You've got plate reverb and you've got reverse and grail flurb and echo. So it's quite a range of different approaches. And then you've got your preset where you can save something that you, a setting that you made so that it's like instantly accessible for you. On stage, for example, that can be very handy. Um, then you've got your main knobs, you've got your uh, bypass button, and you've got your um, tap button and your infinite button. I really like this one to uh, use it as a freeze. Uh, so you can hold it and then it holds the signal. Let's see if we can demonstrate this. So, ha ha ha, hey. Now I'm not like singing anything anymore, but Let's look at these knobs, shall we? Here you have your blend. Uh, so that's your uh, dry and wet or mix. Uh, this is just this way, you know, you don't get any of the pedals effects. And here it's only like everything that you send through is completely affected and uh, everything in between here. Then you have your reverb time. Uh, you know, shorter reverb time, longer reverb time. We can, of course, also demonstrate. And then it starts to like feedback. Then here we have a uh, damping and tone. So this uh, damping is, of course, when it concerns a plate reverb, uh, literally, or then, you know, in a plate reverb, normally you have this um, uh, plate of, I think it's rock wool or something of that sort, or felt that is like coming closer towards the plate and that uh, doesn't actually touch it, but it like uh, dampens the... Um, uh, amount of, uh, or the dampens the sound of the plate reverb anyway. So, uh, and tone is in terms of um, duller or brighter. As you can hear, this is very dull, and then it becomes pretty sharp. Let's see what it sounds like with the plate reverb. So this would be very dampened, and this would be not very dampened at all, very bright. Then we have the feedback knob. And what that does is that it feeds the same signal through the effect loop again and again, exacerbating it, like escalating it. We can demonstrate that. So now it's, now it's totally on zero. And then we turn it up and we should be able to hear that it's escalating. Yeah, 
as you can imagine, this is uh, my favorite knob on this instrument. Um, in any case, then we have finally the pre-delay, and um, that just determines when the effect starts uh, on your signal. So if it's totally on zero, then uh, the effect starts straight away when you um, put signal through it. But here it will come later, like that. So let's see if we can hear that, shall we? So you can you can tell that 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 makes a huge difference. Um, now, finally, let's just have a listen to each one of them so that you can hear uh, a kind of run-of-the-mill kind of signal from them. Grail spring first. Hey, oh, oh, oh. Spring. Oh. Wow. That is definitely a hall. This should sound like a room. Sounds like a room to me. Hey. Smaller space, yes. Or you can not only use it as a like intense effect, but also as kind of a regular reverb. Uh, then we have the plate, which we heard earlier as well. Hey, ha! Ah, you can hear that sort of flutter of the metal plate that they made, you know, imitated. Ah, oh, hey! This key at the end there. Now it's going to be fun. Reverse. Ah. Oh. Hey. Ah. 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 Hey. Oh. Hi. Now I'm using the freeze button. So let's say if we want to uh, save a preset on echo here. Ah, this, well, it's pretty modest. Ah, hey, oh, ah, ah, like this, for instance. So what we do then oh. is we go to the mode knob, which also here it says push preset. And we press and hold it until we get this nice little disco effect. And then we see that the preset button is now flashing. Or we can save actually one preset for each of these modes. Um, and so if we want to go back to this uh, preset that we just d loaded for the, for the echo, um, then we go to that mode and we press once on the mode button and then automatically it is loaded 
so we can immediately use it. Hey, it's pretty nifty. Ah. So, that's all for now on the uh, Cathedral Stereo Reverb by Electroharmonics. Go to patreon.com slash and thank you for your support.